I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today, the Arakwell people of the Bunjalung Nation, and pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Are you ready to win at the game of life? Well, throw out that rule book and get down to the business of being the best and most authentic version of you. Welcome to the Human Design Podcast. We're changing the rules around success, abundance, purpose, love, and life, where we're creating a planet where everyone can thrive in a world that loves and supports each other. I'm your host, Emma Dunwoody, a qualified master coach, human design expert, podcaster, and entrepreneur that is living the life of my dreams, breaking all the rules while doing it, making a huge impact, and living my design and manifesting miracles on the daily. Join me as I break down and simplify everything you need to live in alignment with your human design, teach you how to recondition your unconscious mind for greatness, and to take back your power so you can manifest your heaven on earth and serve the rest of the planet at the same time time. It's time to give up the fear and step into your highest potential, to reach for the stars, to know and live your greatness. It's what you deserve and it's what the planet really needs from you. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. If you use human design in your business in any way, stop what you're doing because you're going to want to hear this. I want to tell you about something we use in this business that has been responsible for bringing in nearly 25,000 new leads and over six figures in revenue in a completely automated and passive way. It's not too good to be true, so stay tuned. That incredible thing is the Bodygraph Chart software. This is the total tool that allows us to put a human design chart generated on our website so we don't have to send people to another website for their chart. The best part is we can offer our customers the information we want them to have. If you know me, you know I have a different take on human design and I want to make sure that the language is empowering, useful and actionable. With Bodygraph Chart, we can customize every, everything from the reading reports, chart links and follow-up emails to make sure that they contain the information written and curated by me so I know each person is in good hands. As for the tech, that's totally Taylor's thing, but from what she tells me, it's super easy to use and set up, and their customer service is incredibly helpful. It's really affordable as well, especially because you get a 50% off for one year as a listener of this podcast. Just visit the link in the show notes and use the code Human Design Podcast, or lowercase. It's by far one of the biggest investments in our business and gives us powerful automation technology that allows us to focus on the bigger picture. I cannot recommend it enough. Go check out the show notes for all the details. Hey, hey, everyone, and welcome to today's episode. Well, today I ran the first class for our Authentic Success Club. Are you a member? Were you there? It was packed. It was so exciting to share this adventure with our new club members and our HDX community. It was so cool. I'm really pumped to see how it's going to evolve over the next months and and even years to really um, bring in this whole new wave of success, this what I call authentic success, success, success. And because of that, almost to celebrate, it was such a freaking epic adventure. And to be honest, um, you know, I'm a bit, uh, I'm pooped now. I'm tired. It it was so much excitement and fun. And, um, you know, from a business model perspective, I had to jam so much. I wanted to jam so much into the 45 minutes. Um, So it definitely probably gave too much value. Um, But, you know. That's kind of how I roll, right? If you've been here, you get it. You get what it's like uh, being around me. I definitely am going to give you a lot of value. Bang for your buck, huh? So on that or to celebrate, I thought what I would do is I would take one of my, look, I think one of the most important habits that I've created ultimately over the last 20 years, but very much over the last, I'm going to say 10, 11 years since being being a coach, 
that fundamentally changed everything everything for me. And then I'm going to give you an idea of how this specifically relates to your human design and aligning to your design. So this principle or this habit is responsibility. I mean, ugh, don't you hate that word? Oh my God. I, for years, I'm going to say until I was well into my late thirties, I was so, I don't know, like I would have a response to the word responsibility because I was so afraid that responsibility or what it meant to me was that I was locked into something that if you were, if I was responsible for something or I was taking responsibility, then I just had to keep doing things I didn't want to do. Um, and so my meaning was incredibly unresourceful. What's crazy is that unconsciously I was taking way too much responsibility for other people and not enough responsibility for me and my life. Now, the truth is that we are responsible for the life we create. I get that there are random things or, I mean, I don't believe in random things, but I I can um, definitely understand that shit happens, okay? Um, And I don't believe that we necessarily manifest the crappy things that happen to us directly, but we when we take responsibility, it's all about, okay, well, what is the meaning I'm going to attribute to this? It's all about what we call in coaching, being above the line, which is in your power, responsibility, or being below the line, which is being in the victim. Okay. So responsibility is all about, well, if I have something going on in my life that I love, let's start there, that I enjoy, If I'm taking responsibility for it, then I'm actually saying I had something to do with bringing this great thing into my life. That's you taking responsibility. And it's, you know, sometimes I was going to say it's easier to take responsibility for that. But the truth is often, especially with women, they don't. They're like, oh, it's lucky. Um, Oh, you know, these things just happen. No, they don't. There is no such thing as luck. You create your own luck. So that's one way we can be taking responsibility. You know, especially as we grow, as you grow your business, one of the primary places that we need to take responsibility is when it comes to money, because most of us uh, um, avoid the money topic, whether it's what should we set our rates at to, um, I don't know what to do about tax. Should I take responsibility and find out or no, like I avoided the tax conversation for a long time too. Or the flip side of all of this responsibility piece is, are you taking responsibility for the places in your life and in your business that you're not getting the results that you want? So this is the place where we often give away our responsibility. We give away our power and we start to tell stories like, um, I remember when I launched my first ever mastermind. It was early 2020, lockdown had just happened in Sydney um, in my launch week and there was loads of my peers saying, oh, well, no one's going to pay for anything now because of this, right? And I took responsibility in I would just was very early on in my human design and I was like, you know what, this feels like it's in alignment with me. Um, I'm just going to do it because I need to take responsibility for making money. I need to do the things that are hard. Where else am I taking responsibility? I'm not listening to other people that are just being negative about something, that are just sharing their belief or their convenient assumption about what is or isn't possible for me. And this is a huge place where we give away our responsibility. We give away our power and we let their opinions become our truths. Okay. So another place where responsibility is so important in your business is taking action. Okay, now on the call this morning, I went on a big rant. And that was all about like a lot of my friends that have similar businesses, bigger businesses than mine, very similar to mine, or at least have similar uh, models that I have. A lot of them are like, "Mm, you know, these these clubs don't work, These, these low cost point options don't work because people don't have enough skin in the game. They don't have enough investment to, you know, self or intrinsically motivate themselves. 
And I'm like, well, I'm going to actually use that as an opportunity to try and inspire these people. I'm going to actually share with them that, you know what, you could be like the statistics tell us that most people that invest in low cost things don't actually take the action, therefore they don't get the results. Or you can be the rebel. You can do something different. And this is what I talked at length about because at the end of the day, all successful people believe in themselves. They all take imperfect action. They all believe that they are responsible for their results, good, the good, the bad, the ugly. So ultimately, it's up to you to become really consciously aware of where you need to take responsibility for your results, okay? So now I want to frame this up with your human design. Okay. So a large part of authentic success, I believe is from human design. I believe that your design, your energetic blueprint sits just below um, the personality. It sits below the behavior we create, the identity we create. Um, It is the, the energy that our soul brought into this life so that we can, um, give what we need to give so we can embody the superpowers we're here to to, to use to, so we can learn the lessons, overcome the challenges. And ultimately, when we come to our human design, one thing that I see so many people do is they just like sprint to the end game. Like they want to know um, their all their gates. They want to get right down into the details, but they don't take responsibility for getting to know how their aura operates. You know, they don't, they don't, actually experiment with their type, their signature, their not self. Like this is so important. If you want to live an aligned, authentic life, if you want to grow an authentically successful business, then you've got to know how your energy works. I know, and you've heard me talk about this in the past, my energy works in sprints, right? So the way that my entire business is created is so that I have time where I'm really busy, And then equal time where I'm, you know, I can do absolutely nothing if I want to do absolutely nothing. You know, my 40, my gate 40 is a big player in that too, but it's also got to do with my emotional authority and it's got to do with my manifesting generator, my inconsistent, like that that multi-passionate, the non-linear. What does it mean for me? So my MG energy, the, the, the Energizer Bunny, it can go all day for two days, three days, but then it really loves just to, you know, put its feet up and go at a much slower pace. So are you taking responsibility for the parts of your design that are going to make a huge difference, but they're maybe not as sexy as, you know, going super deep into maybe your pearl sequence or something like that in your gene keys or your incarnation cross in your human design. And that goes for your strategy and authority. Like it's all well and good that you are taking, um, that you're learning about them, but are you actually experimenting with them? And now let's actually go deeper into your design. One of the the places where I think people don't take responsibility when running their human design experiment or um, going through their Gene Keys uh, sequences is that they spend so much time focused on the shadow. And our focus, our reticulating, our reticular activating system in the brain, that the part of our brain that decides what to focus on is the thing that is helping us define our frequency. If we are spending all this time focused on our shadows, then we are not going to really embody the gift for an extended period, period of time. All right. So I got a little exercise for you. It's short and sweet today. I want you to, if it feels correct for you, take responsibility for the results you're getting in your life. So where in your life or your business do you feel like you don't have what you want? Okay, get that piece. And then I want you to go to your human design and I want want you to ask yourself, what specifically in my design am I choosing not to align to that would solve this problem? All right. So ultimately I want you to identify the gap, the the thing in your life that you don't have the results that you want to have. Then I want you to reflect on your chart, where in your chart 
is there something obvious that could help you solve this problem, but you're not taking responsibility for that. You're not aligning to that. You're not experimenting with that. You're not actually doing, taking the imperfect action to master that part of your design. And you know, mastering your design is more about letting go of the things that stop you just automatically being that energy, but you still have to choose to build the muscle, right? So go and experiment. Go and take responsibility for all the results you have in your life and then be super clear. Okay, these are the ones I want to keep. These are the ones I don't want to keep. What habits do I need to create to shift um, into more of what I do want and less of what I don't want? How specifically can my human design help me do that? And often the truth is the more you align to your design, the more those gaps are going to close, the more you're going to have more of what you want and less of what you don't want. Helpful? Well, I trust you got what you needed from today's short but sweet episode. Bye for now. Thanks everyone for being here all the way to the end of the podcast. I hope you got lots of value out of it. I certainly had a lot of fun doing it. Could I please ask that you share this podcast with friends if you found it valuable? And also, bonus points, could you leave a review for me as well on Apple? It would be greatly appreciated. If at any point you would like to be on the podcast or you've got questions that you'd like me to discuss on the podcast, by all means, get on my socials and DM me. Everything you need is there in the show notes. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.